So in the stick or discord, there are a lot of talented people creating artworks and fan arts and things like that. And their talent, first of all, makes me realize how much of a failure I am. And second of all, really just goes to show how much they love the games. Now, what I want to focus on for today is a user by the name of Betrayos underscore IDN. He created concept art for the leader of the Juggernauts for Stick War 3, basically how he thinks the Juggernaut would look. I have to show you this. It is absolutely incredible. Look at this. Look at how incredible this is. The amount of detail that has gone into this is absolutely amazing. Like this is the type of quality content that the developers would put out. Like the amount of talent that this guy has is incredible. The amount of detail and everything that this guy looks extremely intimidating in this shot. This guy's showing up, he's ready to fight and he is ready to destroy. And he was even nice enough to release his artwork, basically a separate skin sprites. And I thought to myself, well, something like this has to be rewarded. I know that he really wants this to be like in Stick War 3, I imagine. But with the developers being super busy with Stick War 3, you know, it may take a while before something like this is added. And I really hope it is added. I hope that the leader of the Juggernaut for Stick War 3 looks like this. I'm not kidding. Or at least it's built off of this. I think it's incredible. And what I thought to myself, well, again, who knows when or if this would show up in Stick War 3, so why not add it to Stick War 2 as an extremely overpowered, terrifying boss? And that's what I've done as, you know, kind of a tribute to Atreus IDN, just to kind of congratulate him for a job well done. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to include every piece of the skins. I was only able to do the helmet, shield, and axe. Uh, things like the cape, I will have to find a way to animate that, and that is way outside my skill level. So he just has the shield, axe, and the helmet, but that doesn't make him any less badass looking. Like, I can't wait to show you this. So, the way this level is designed is after a couple of minutes, the Juggernaut will show up. Because if I gave, if I, if I let that Juggernaut show up at the start of the game, I would not be able to beat him unless I have a ton of gold and mana to start with. So that is what we are going to be going into. He is going to have a ton of abilities and he is going to be extremely powerful. But it's not just the enemy that's going to be getting a super powerful unit. I'm also going to have a super powerful unit. If you guys remember my Stick War 3 Atreus video, the super tanky Spearton with extremely high damage that releases spells upon death, I am going to be using him against their Jug. And I set them up to be pretty much evenly matched, but they can still decimate anything that isn't as powerful as them. With that being said, I still don't know how this is going to go. We're going to jump into this and hopefully not get annihilated. All right, here we are. So again, we are not going to see the Juggernaut or Atreus yet. A couple of minutes are going to go by basically to give me time to prepare for when that knight shows up. Because again, I haven't explained much of his abilities to you. It's rather, I would rather leave it as a surprise for you to figure out. But I can tell you right now that he's not going to be easy to defeat. And if I'm not careful, he will obliterate us all. So here we go. I'm doing my archer opening. Of course, you already know me. I love my archer on being in chaos. Could have went with a wing, but the wings would be too easy. So I have archers and dead. So we're just, everything's going to be starting off calm. We're capping our tower. We have our tower control. Move this guy forward. Go ahead, pick up minor hustle. We have our uh, juggernaut charge for the jugs. I'm not going to use shield wall or shield bash because again, uh, oh, that's a dead, which I can outrange. Well, you know, I'm just going to sit here and just take, you know, shots at it. But anyway, I am not using Shield Wall and Shield Bash for regular Spiritons because that will make it too easy. 
I set the shield wall damage reduction to be 92%. Oh, oh, that Archidon gets poisoned. I forgot I increased the projectile velocity on the dead guts, but this archer should survive. He has a decent chunk of health. But anyway, uh, I set the shield wall damage reduction to be 92%, which is how much Atreus will naturally have. If I put that on a regular spear timon, I can solo this whole thing with spear tins and archers. And that's too easy. So the spear tins, the regular spear tins are not going to have any shield wall or shield bash. And it's just to make things a lot more intense and interesting. So they are pushing three deads in a jug. Well, I will make another jug. I could make deads, but I'm doing Archidons because they are less hampering on my economy. They are saving me from spending mana. And these guys want to attack us. Well, I'm not threatened by that. I mean, this is Grass Hills map where you have more than enough time to set up for whatever you need to do. So let's pick up Poison Guts. I, I'm, in, I'm in the mood to run deads as well. Oh, we should have got Charge. Charge is the Juggernaut's signature. By the way, the enemy leader Jug cannot charge yet. Once I figure out how to do it, then he will be able to charge, which will be great because there's a hidden ability in the charge ability for Jugs that I'm not going to spoil. Uh, let me see. Uh, those are a lot of deads. Let's start charging these guys back. I should get a castle dead because I buffed the castle dead. Fire arrows too. And okay, they are somehow hitting my miner there. That's annoying. Well, it doesn't really matter if that dies. Yeah, these uh these deads hit kind of hard. I I won't lie to you. They hit kind of hard. Okay, can we garrison this please before it dies? So, okay, we are in the three minute mark. Very, very soon, the general units for both sides are going to show up. Which, again, ain't gonna be good for me. In fact, is he here yet? No, he's not here yet. Okay, we have time. We still have time. Oh, they get a tower spawn, which I don't care about. Let's kill that dead. That dead is certain to be killed, which will just help us out a bit more. I would say so far so good, but again, their ram hammer is yet to show up, but I feel like it's going to happen at any second, like soon they're going to show up. Oh, he's here. There's my Atreus right there. So their leader is here. There he is. So again, I did the best I could to make him look good. Hopefully Atreus, I again, I hope you enjoy it, but here we go. The moment of opportunity has arrived now this guy does aoe splash damage so i should not have my juggernaut here <laughs> so here he is wondering who is going to win this fight their jug or my atreos who again is taking 92 percent less damage that's why he's able to survive for as long as he is we get a finisher kill but because of the abilities that i gave the leader jug when he dies uh, finisher kills from spear tins to jugs are going to look weird. You can see the jug is kind of just standing in place. I can't really do anything about that. All right, Atreos, you need to keep hitting their leader. This is an extremely close fight, but I feel like Atreos is going to go down first because of the... Oh, there's a Medusa. There's a Medusa already. And Atreos is going to go down. So he releases a poison spray electric wall and a blast upon death. Uh, but see, the thing is, their juggernaut can do the same and it is significantly more powerful. Uh, we are in trouble. I can't stun this guy either. He is stun resistant. We should kill this Medusa actually. Yeah, get her out of here. Uh oh. Oh god, Garrison the Archers. Oh, no, Medusa, 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 Medusa. Oh, no, Medusa's gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I'm going to make a giant. See what I mean? Like, this guy is lethal. If he gets in and he hits, that's the end of your unit. Oh, God. Oh, no. This is bad. I got to reduce the quality because all of a sudden the game is kind of eating itself. I have a Marokai. I can reap that jug. He is extremely close to death, but 
He won't go down just yet. Alright, Medusa stones my statue, which thankfully does not do a whole lot of damage. The uh, Juggernaut is actually re- Oh no, Medusa's gonna- Okay, thank god. We killed Medusa before she could land a poison, but wait a minute. Oh, that was a mistake. I should not have reaped that Jug. When he dies, he's going to release three spells, which could kill us. Damn, that means I've been cornered. Oh no, this is bad. Archer! Why would you go forward? Okay, we're fine. We're Okay, there we go. He exploded. There's the poison spray. There's the blast. There's the electric wall. We cannot come out for a while because uh, we're just going to get poisoned. There's another Medusa, which I'm just going to straight up reap. I'm not going to let you cast your poison pool. Oh my god, she can still cast the poison pool when she's reaped. I forgot about that. And these deads are in here, but thankfully I made my statue super tanky. So, uh, we have a chance if Atreus comes back. I need Atreus to come back. He's the only way I can, like, keep fighting. My castle dead's targeting their deads, which is good. You know what? We're gonna have to try and tank the poison pool. That means even bringing the miners out. Alright, giant, get in front of the statue. As long as another Medusa does not show- Oh, no! They made a giant. Okay then, do I have health fist? I didn't research health, I thought I'd research health fist. We need health fist. Oh my Archidons, oh god, they're about to die. They are about to die. We need a Atreus like right freaking now. This is very, very bad. Where's the Atreus? He is, a, oh I forgot to mention, they do, the generals do respawn after a while. Oh, th oh, thank God, there he is, there he is. The Ram Hammer is back. Uh, so we can hit this giant and, you know what? Screw the giant. Take out the deads. And that Medusa, get rid of her. There we go. <laughs> he can one hit Medusas and two hit deads. I think if we kill enough of their backup units, we'll force a retreat. At least that's the idea. There you go. We're killing enough deads to force them away. Uh, I can't afford my giant growth too, which is extremely crucial. There's another Medusa, and the leader is back already. That was insanely fast. Alright, uh, we need to kill these other, uh, units. I guess we'll reap the giant. I don't, I don't really see what I can reap right now. So like I said, the finisher animations are going to look messed up, and it's simply because I gave the boss juggernaut some abilities when he dies can't really do anything about that so hopefully it doesn't like bother you guys too much or anything another medusa we need to just clap it we'll clap it after atreus gets his finisher kill which is actually a lot more useful wait we need giant growth too but i think it's oh i made it 700 73 seconds and 700 mana okay they were retreating for a split second let's just kill that dead get that dead out of here uh, there's two giants. Oh god, this tanking power is not looking good for me. Atreus is looking low, and he's kind of the reason why we're still living. Oh, 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 my giant's gone. My giant's gone. I probably shouldn't bring Atreus out like that. We need to keep him in the front. How did my archers get poisoned? When did that happen? Alright, it's time for my own Medusa, because, uh... They are getting a little bit, we should probably save this giant. Oh, there's a third one. I don't know if I can, this is too much tanking power. Uh, kill, kill that Medusa, please. Thank you. Atreus is really close to death right now. We're gonna garrison the Marokai. Uh, this boss jug has 7,800 HP. So killing him on top of giant to death 13,000 is not an easy task. And yet Atreus goes down. Okay, we are in a lot of danger until he comes back. And I still don't have 700 mana to get Giant Goat 2. I really need this. I really, really need this. Please. Okay, there we go. It's researching, but I have to wait 73 seconds. Oh, and they're attacking. That's, that's great. That's really what I wanted. Oh, no. Alright, we need to reap... Oh, I'm saved. I'm saved. I forgot to mention this as a surprise. So basically, if I survive long enough, I get my own leader jug. And that's not the best part. 
the best part is I was able to allow this Juggernaut to possess a unit upon charge. So that's the reason why. Uh... Oh, wow. That's oh, that. What is that? That giant's health bar just drained so bad. OK, there's so much happening. I'm trying to explain this, but basically uh, if I survive long enough, I give my own boss jug and he can possess a unit when he charges. Which, I decided to just implement this out of nowhere, and I expected it to not work in the slightest. And I kid you not when I say, I got it to work first freaking try. On my first attempt, I got the Juggernaut to possess a unit when he charges. Something that I thought I would never be able to do. And here it is. Now think about it, the enemy Jugs can't charge yet, I don't know how to do it, I'm still working on that. But think about the enemy Juggernaut leader having charge, and every time he charges, he possesses one of my units. I think you can imagine it's not going to end well for me. But look at this. This is so broken, and I love it. Now, it seems when I charge an enemy Juggernaut, I can't get their abilities, which makes sense because the enemy Jugs can't charge yet. But it doesn't matter, though. I still have an extremely tanky boss juggernaut on my side. I had two of them. Not to mention that Atreos is back. So I probably should have increased the amount of time it took for this boss jug to come out because we are kind of like, we're vibing now. We're never gonna lose. Even if they make another boss jug, I can charge it and take control of it for the, for the entire duration of this game until it dies. It doesn't matter who I, uh, oh, Archidon's Let's keep them back for now. But like I said, I won this game 100%. I can charge whatever I want and possess a unit from it. So basically, when their next Juggernaut... Wait a minute. Hold on, I'm having a thought. I don't think they're going to get another boss Jug because this guy isn't dead. I didn't kill him, I just possessed him. I think this Jug has to die for them to get another one. But... I'm not going to stay around and wait for that to happen. We're just going to keep charging things and possessing them and just obliterating everything. Like, it, it's, it is game over for these guys. But I do want to try again. I want to make some changes. Wait, what if I charge a statue? Oh! <laughs> okay, if I charge the statue, I crash the game. Right. So, basically, we shouldn't do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to nerf giants, decrease their health a bit because they are kind of overpowered and tanking. So we're going to nerf giants and we're going to increase the amount of time that I have to wait to get my own boss jug. Because again, if that guy shows up, I win the game because I can possess anything I want when I charge. So I'll be back. All right, we're back. So uh, once again, we have giant nerfs and I also increased the time I had to wait to get my own boss jug, which is I, I increased it from 600 to 900 seconds. Feel free to convert that to minutes because I honestly can't be bothered. And also it was initially 90 seconds between respawn times for Atreus and the enemy's leader jug, but I increased that to 140 seconds. So. Uh, Basically, I have to make sure that I get the maximum output power potential from Atreus before he dies. Okay, I don't know how that Archidon got hit, but we're gonna have to garrison him. Or he might survive. See, I get I keep thinking that I have to garrison Archidons fully, but that's only if it was order. Given that they are now chaos, they can fight the poison with the region and then cure from it, which is glorious. All right, let's go. I'm going to just help fit the jugs because they have two of them. All right, this could be a little bad. They have the tower spawn in here. Let's go for a health fist just straight up the map line. And that looks like it did absolutely dog water. 
Okay, they are really rushing the jugs. I should have made a Medusa. What is happening here? Uh, I'm hoping a trail shows up soon because I don't know how else we're going to kill five jugs. Okay, there he is. The bad news is their leader is here. So we need to kill... We need to kill all this. Oh, my Marokai is being targeted. Okay, there we go. We need to push everything out of the base before that boss shows up. So you know what? I'm even going to get the miners to fight. We need to get these Juggernauts out of here. If that leader shows up and we are still cornered, we are done for. In fact, I'm not even going to reap anything. I want, I want us to gain ground right now. But Atreos keeps getting finisher kills. Dude, we don't have time for that. You need to come out here and fight. Yep, there's the leader. There's the leader. And he's going to be freezing my units. But you know what? Screw the leader because we're going to help fist the deads. Never mind, these little sneaky a-holes managed to escape. Alright, we can clap the weak dead. And then we'll reap another dead. Alright, I'm going to start using Atreos to focus on the leader. I don't want to ignore him. Also, trying to Medusa stone him is completely worthless because he will ignore the damage. I made both of these units stone immune, which makes sense. It would suck to have a super overpowered general, and then Medusa comes along and insta-kills him with a stone. That would suck. Let me see, who do we reap here? I guess we'll reap the weak dead. Oh, Archidons. Damn it, one gets poisoned. Hellfist. We're doing a pretty decent job. The boss is about half health now. And Atreus is... A, oh. I forgot this is on Stick Empire's code. I can't one-hit kill Medusa. They are naturally immune to that. Damn, that's going to be so unfortunate for me. It's going to be so much harder to kill these guys now. Alright, enemy poison pool should be gone. I hate that this Juggernaut is randomly deciding to attack my spellcasters. Here, you want this dead? Fight this dead. Who doesn't have poison yet? For a matter of fact, how about you just die? Oh, Atreos is almost dead. And the leader is... The leader still has a decent... I gotta try and save him. He might survive this? He can take 92% less. Damn, I, I feel like he can survive this. Oh no, my Marokai! No, 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 no! I let him get auto by the freaking tower spawn. Atreos manages to live, which is good. I probably shouldn't do this because, oh god, oh the lead, oh the leader is in here. Oh my god, the leader is in here. I made a horrible miscalculation. I made a horrible miscalculation. Holy freaking crap! I don't know if. Atreos is hitting him. Oh, Atreos goes down. No! He's so close to death, but he's actually recovering health from being burned and poisoned. Meaning killing him is going to be even harder. Look at him. Look at this survivability. We can't kill him. Oh my god, we actually can't kill him. He can... The burn and poison is helping him live longer. This guy is so lethal. We need to kill him so we can burn his... Oh, Medusa, no. Get, get out of here, Medusa. Okay, there we go. He burned his spells, so we are now cornered. We can't do anything for a while. But at least we have another giant train. I'm going to make another another giant. You know what? Screw, screw the poison pool. I'm that guy. I'm that bold man. We're chasing these deads. We're picking them off. That's right. No, kill this. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Thank you. Now run away. And the tower spawn's gonna get two archers. But I think that was worth it. And I think I think my miners can also tank the poison pool. It's the Archonauts that I have to be the most like paranoid about. Okay. So the good news is, since my Atreos died first, he is going to return before the Oh my god. Wait! How do they already have another one? I thought it was 140. How is he back already? Oh my god, this guy's so cheated. Oh no. Atreos is not back yet. He is going to annihilate my giants. Why is this guy back so quickly? He should not be back so quickly. I must have made a mistake. Well, the enemy has an advantage that I don't have. I cannot believe this crap. 
And then a full growth giant shows that yeah, we lost this game. We lost this game. My only miracle is hoping that my boss jug comes out in time for me to charge stuff and possess them. But it's not gonna happen. There's no way. The good news is I have a mega tanky statue that ain't gonna last for too much longer if we don't get something to help us out. And a regular spear tin is not what I had in mind. In fact, what I had in mind was Atreos, but he isn't here yet. He's taking a coffee break or something. I don't know what he's doing, but he needs to get out here before it's too late for us. Yeah, unless a miracle shows up right now, we uh, we pretty much lost. There is nothing we can do here. Yeah, this sucks. Another Medusa showing up. Okay, so I somehow I somehow made the boss jug spawn faster than a Treos does, meaning I have to. I have to play smarter. I this this sucks. This really freaking sucks. I don't believe it. He is actually going to just yeah. All right, Atreus is here, which means their leader is here. But the difference is this time I now I have ground that I'm gaining on them. There he is. There is the lethal terror of the night. And apparently he now comes back faster than I came with a trails, meaning I have to make sure I don't screw up. The thing is, I have to use the trails to damage the Juggernaut leader because he does a lot of damage to him. It just doesn't appear to be that way because of the sheer amount of health that he has. Oh, no, kill that. Kill that. We don't want that being here. Oh, they have their own Medusa. I'm going to have to use the Treos to kill that. We don't want that living. Okay, okay. We're not doing bad. I got to pick off these Juggernauts that they keep building as well. Because they are proving to be a problem. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt to make my own Juggernauts. Because I can distract their boss from hitting a Treos. And he is pretty much the only way he can trip a trails down and kill him fast. So here, here, target this Juggernaut. Just, you want, you, you know you want to. Just target the Jug. There you go. We turn it. Who's hitting Medusa? Oh, she got stoned? Okay, she's being hit again by some. I don't know what's hitting her. Oh, uh, a trails. Oh, we killed the boss. We killed the boss, Jug. But he released a poison pool and an explosion. Yeah, let's not get let's not get killed by that. But see, here's the problem. We know he's going to return in a matter of minutes. So what do I do with Atreos? I probably should just let him die. So we can get mileage of like burning things with uh, the explosion and stuff. So we're just gonna do that. Or no no no, I should save him. I should save him. Because he's gonna heal pretty quickly in the castle. And we can we could use that 92% damage reduction tanking power. So you know what? It's best to save Atreos than let him die. In the meantime, who are we gonna stall with? I do have a giant, which I am trying to upgrade to grow to as quickly as I can. Their leader's not back yet. Oh, free Medusa kill. I'll take it. I will take that. Thank you very much for that. The leader's still not here. You know what? Let's go for mileage while we still can. Uh, we are going to just stone both of these. And get a mega health fist on the dead. I, I don't... Oh, I didn't research health fist. Well, damn it. Uh, reaping Medusa is kind of pointless, but hopefully... Never mind. We didn't kill her before the poison pool comes out. Yeah, see, here we go. Look at the trails. He's regaining his health pretty quickly. Ah, oh, ah, oh, damn it. I let him get poisoned. The leader is still not back. This is so freaking weird. Where is he? And Medusa gets the poison pulled down. Well, that's why I'm building deads. The Archonauts won't be able to cross the pool, but the deads will. I'm kind of getting concerned. I'm hoping that the I didn't break something and the leader's never going to show up again because that would really suck. 
Oh, that's a beautiful health fist on the deads. Yeah, until the, unless that leader shows up, we probably won this game. I have so much tanking power with the trail and my three giants. Oh! Oh! This this guy pulled a bait and switch. I thought he was gonna retreat, and he did. He just killed all my deads. That I made a huge mistake reaping him. I thought he was going to turn around and go back into base, but no, this guy decided to hit my deads, kill them all, and then retreat. I don't believe that crap. He is about half health now. I'm trying to do my best to kill him. Uh, he's hitting a Atreos. Yeah, I'm glad I saved Atreos. He's the reason why we were hitting this Jug and uh, preventing him from running out and killing everything. But I'm sure you're noticing my giants, they are being destroyed by the AoE that this guy has. But the good news is, we are going to dispatch of him pretty quickly. Well, I can't even one-hit a tower with stone, that sucks. You know what, I wonder if I can use the trails to just kind of like, end this game before they get another boss and I think it's gonna happen yeah that boss was their ram hammer their main source of power and without him they are pretty much done for kind of unfortunate though because I last I didn't get to get my uh my own boss jug out because I charged things and possessed them but I mean at least you guys were able to see it once Oh, the boss is back. Uh-oh, it might not be game over for them yet. It might not be. You know what? I'm, I'm up for the challenge. I'm going to fight him head on. What do I look like? A guy that who's going to try and destroy the statue to end it? Oh, no. I'm going to fight this guy head on. Let's freaking do it. This guy's by himself, so he's definitely going to full attack us. There's no way he's going to sit here and wait for reinforcements because they just don't exist. This is the final freaking frontier for them. See if he kills, he kills that, we retreat. I can't believe this guy showed up at the last second to like say, basically say, yeah, if you thought I was done, you have another thing coming. But he has to fight a growth to uh, Chaos Giant. Look how fast he's gonna kill this. Oh, um, when he's, he's actually slowing the giant down with his attacks, but it doesn't look like it. Because the freezing effect doesn't appear to be there, which probably makes sense because of the tower spawn's color. It's already blue, so you can't get the glacial effect to show up on top of that. So he's going he's gonna to kill this tower spawn, I know that's for sure. And he still has a lot of health left. Well, one thing's for sure, he is going to take tower from me. Yeah, that's the end of my dead, and... I don't think he's gonna chase further than this. Yeah, he's gonna try and retreat. There's no point in stoning him, like I said before, he can survive it. Oh! Okay, I was not expecting that turnaround. Oh my god, he scared the crap out of me. I thought he was going to retreat. Oh, my Marikai is dead. No, my Marikai is dead. Yeah, I don't know why I tried charging him. He can literally survive that. Alright, and we're going to take the boss down. Oh, oh, I forgot he releases that stuff. It's funny that a regular Spearton got a finisher kill on the leader, but again, it doesn't show that because of his new abilities, like I said before. But there we go. We defeated the boss, but the problem is he threw a poison pull down. Atreos is back. I can finish the game with him. <gasps> Look at this! He's back again! How is he back? It happened again. He re he's back immediately. This guy does not want to give up. It's, it's good that Atreos showed up, though, at the perfect time 
to engage this guy. You know what? I'm interested in a 1v1. The Archidon's kind of interfered. But let's let's see who wins a 1v1. I know I'm kind of wasting time here, but I'm interested. Nah, Treos is gonna win because the Archidons are interfering. So yeah, let, let's let's just kill this guy and uh, not stall out longer. Because if, if another boss shows up immediately, then uh, we may we may struggle again. So let's just kill this guy. Oh no! Oh my God! No! <laughs> he did it again. So there, there goes my archer stack, basically dead. I underestimate this guy, and I think he's gonna retreat. Don't run through that. that. That's a dangerous electric wall. Oh, there's my boss jug, but there's nothing to charge and possess with. So we'll just we'll just finish the statue with him and Atreus. Oh, they're trying to replenish their economy. Yeah, I don't think so. That's gonna have to get shut down, pal. Alright, let's not charge the statue. That's how we crash the game. There we go. That is the end of it. So yeah, that's it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I hope that Atreos underscore IGN also enjoyed. Uh, like I said, I really hope your unit does show up in Stick War 3, but in the off chance it doesn't, at least you can relish in the fact that he is in Stick War 2 as an insanely overpowered general. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video.